Now, it's a tragic day in Onitsha, a number of state as a church building has collapsed at 33 area of Onitsha, killing one young man. The collapsed building is said to be the property of Bethsaida Bible Church located along St. Christopher. 33 is a heavily populated area with fast growth and the building is a one-story building. St. Christopher Street in Onitsha is a long stretch of road with a lively neighborhood. But the fatal incident has left residents in awe. It was a church building belonging to Bethsaida Bible Church that was started two years ago and had already been roofed. 15-year-old Promise Mwakwa was a survivor of the unfortunate incident. He says there were eight of them working in the building when it collapsed, but he was lucky to have escaped. According to another eyewitness, he assisted in the rescue of the victims. We tried enough to rescue people. I saw about two boys inside this place. They are there crying for help. And eventually, we rescued the two boys. When the State Commissioner for Housing and Urban Development and the Chairman of Anambra State Investigative Panel on Collapsed Building inspected the site, they condemned the collapse, describing it as one collapse too many. Unfortunate that we are recording the Eastside Building collapse in Anambra State. I know it happens in other states, but it's rather becoming too rampant. We are now sifting out the professional facts who allow themselves to be used by other facts to create these problems. Most of, about 90% of, of the buildings we saw in a number of states under approval, we are done by facts. And uh, we are trying to round them off and then make sure that they stop participating. State records say at least eight buildings have collapsed in the last three months. To stem the tide, Willie Obiano banned the construction of high-rise buildings and set up a building quality control laboratory in Orca, the state capital, recently.